Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here. Another week, another Minecraft episode. Um, and we're actually getting some stuff sorted. So, um, since finding that stronghold the last episode, uh, I did some sort of more ramping up, not really exploring, um, gaining some levels, using some resources, and just sort of trying to figure what we're going to be doing in the episodes to come. So we do have that set of diamond armor, and even though we've enchanted it, I wasn't really happy with it, so most of my off-camera time has been spent. I've crafted more pieces, like similar diamond sets, got them on the enchanting table, had to level up a bunch, and then enchant more. So, we have a set ready to roll. Uh, but that's not all. Um, this Iron Sword with Looting 3 has been great in terms of gathering stuff. So, to give you an idea of what I mean, let's just quickly head into our... Oh, let's call this the Blaze Storage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I haven't really found, like, just wandering the same dozen or so halls in that fortress waiting for blazes to spawn and come step up on onto me so I haven't even uh, explored the entire fortress and got a stack and a half of blaze rods and well more than a stack and a half because I've converted a bunch to blaze powders and even used the blaze powders to make more eyes vendor so that is all going swimmingly have our production of potions, fire resistance, night vision, and slow falling. We can create more, but so far those are the three I sort of want the most. Uh, still haven't broken through our anvil, but we do have one ready to go when it does. Uh, also crafted a diamond axe, just because, you know, I figured I would need another diamond tool eventually. Um, and just before I turned on the camera, uh, got to crafting a diamond sword with <laughs> pretty good stats as far as I can see. Uh, so this may be the thing that we take to the Ender Dragon fight. Um, I sort of had planned uh, this episode into two separate parts, and the first part will definitely help for the second. Uh, so the first part being that, like I mentioned, uh, we had crafted this set of diamond armor. Uh, so, mostly everything's got Unbreaking 3, which is the biggest thing that I wanted on all of it. Uh, unbreaking 3 and Protection is fine for the pants. Um, this has been a big one, Respiration 3. So, it'll give us more air when we dive underwater, which will be a big help for what we do next. And for this one... Um, not bad stats. I wanted to get the feather falling a little bit higher, and we might have something to sort of help that out. So, first thing we need to do... Actually, I'm not done... <laughs> the looting three swords. So, I wanted to... I had mentioned in a previous episode, uh, also in that fortress there were wither skeletons, and one of the rare drops for them was a wither skeleton skull. Um, you can wear the skulls, and you can get the achievement for wearing the head of an enemy as you defeat the same type of enemy and got that ages ago. Uh, but the main purpose of Wither Skeleton Skulls, uh, you use three to craft the Wither. Um, so finding and getting three was something of an achievement all of enough itself, but I go in there again not really trying too hard. Uh, I got nine. So we can spawn and defeat the Wither three times, if I so desire. Um, and we will eventually, but in a later episode. Um, what we're actually here for is our mending books. So, um, yep, yeah, let's grab four. We're going to see if we can get all this done right now, because uh, here's my iron armor. I've just been basically surviving on iron armor up until this point um, just because um, I didn't want to be crafting too much of iron or at the very least netherite 
So let's go here. Did some exploring and got four pieces of pieces of netherite. So we're gonna bring that down as well. Okay. So we're going to fashion up ourselves our battle armor. Uh, and let's start. Well, let's take out all four pieces. And let's see how how far we can test the limits of this anvil. Um, nope, wrong button. Uh, so, chest plate and book. Most of them will cost three. I think one will cost a little more, but as long as everything comes over, which it looks like it does, we are going to add mending, the mending enchantment onto all of our armor. Starting with that. Yeah, it is only Aqua Infinity one. You know what? That should be fine. That I think Aqua Infinity just makes us mine underwater blocks as as quickly as we would on land, which is all we want. Uh, so mending costing three. Go. Yeah, we've already been burning up a lot of levels doing sort of getting up to this point, so not too worried about that. Uh, protection on breaking. Pants aren't quite so hot, but you know what? We can come up with a different book later on. That's not a big deal. And then lastly, diamond boots and mending. This will come up a little bit uh, more expensive, but you know what? That's fine. All right. <laughs> um, and lastly, before we begin, I don't want to be going... There's one thing I wanted to do. The enchantment for the boots was good on its own. We got a book of Feather Falling for, and I want to see if we can get it on as well. Cost nine. <laughs> Let's do it. We're going to get our levels back eventually anyway. Doesn't matter. All right, and the anvil survives. Okay. Now that we have our battle armor ready to go, it's time to convert it all into netherite. And there we go, a full set of enchanted netherite armor. Time to try this bad, these bad boys on. Looking snazzy. And this is the first for me. I've worn a full set of diamond armor and had it go through its paces. Um, but this is the first time I've actually gone through a full set, made it all mending, and upgraded it to the strongest that it could be. So, goodbye Iron Armor. Hopefully we don't need to go back to you ever again. Oh! Interesting. It almost makes me want to go out into battle. Uh, hello, Vendor Villager. Uh, we did manage to get uh, some of our off time. We did get ourselves another... Um, we got ourselves Bert II, uh, and he is able to give us the mending book if we so desire. Uh, not quite as cheaply as Bert the First, but you know what? We'll take it. Um, I did roll a bunch of times and even re-rolled when I saw mending for 16. I'm not going to be too bitter uh, over it. So, that's fine. And he's got his own little space here, and I sort of enclosed him in his own little fence, so as long as he keeps out of harm's way, then he's uh, more than happy to just sort of hang out and do whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're getting close. And in fact, we're getting so close, um, we may take on the Ender Dragon 
next episode. Um, again, another first for me. We'll actually complete the end portal, venture in, take on the dragon, hopefully win, <laughs> and then, you know, have stories to tell our grandkids or whatever the case may be. Um, but for now, we still sort of have stuff to do. Uh, I won't bore you guys with sort of getting stuff and transferring it over to the uh, stronghold that we secured last episode. Um, but I think maybe the next thing we might want to do is see if we can get ourselves towards an ocean and start farming drowned. Uh, actually, that was one of the things I wanted to see. Um, let me through. Hopefully there's a... I'm just curious to see how... How much time I can spend underwater. Quite a long time. Um, which will be very useful when we try and go for sort of um, treasure maps and that sort of stuff. Underwater temples. But yeah, definitely worthwhile. So, hmm. Quite happy to have gotten respiration on that. And, uh, hmm. I want to, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Mines blocks just as quickly. So that's important too, especially if you start doing a lot of stuff underwater. But, uh, yeah, all the way down to level six now. So we're gonna see if we can find ourselves an ocean or some place where we can fight a lot of drowned because um the next thing i want or the very last thing i want before we take on that um that ender dragon fight is a trident and i want to see if we can enchant one um to the point where i'll be sort of glowing over it like i i, I did have a sort of uh, godly trident in another game, but I want to see if I can get one here before we take on that dragon. So we'll see if we can uh, find ourselves an ocean nearby. Uh, I was searching in a previous episode, um, <laughs> and, and it was not uh, easy to find that one. So we'll see if we can find one a little bit easier. It's the overall, so it shouldn't be that bad. And plus, we have we have this armor now. We, we are we are battle ready um, so yeah um, maybe we'll uh, be back shortly um, to find ourselves to find ourselves some drowned and uh, do some battling with them all right so we were not really doing much um, just facing enemies that are coming sort of nearby trying out our new armor quite nice um, but I think a little birdie told me that we might find ocean type environments if we head north that a ways. Uh, so we're going to do that. And uh, before we head off, obviously we're going to get some supplies so that we don't have to worry about much stuff uh, on the way. Uh, get a couple stacks. I'm uh, not trying to see what I might need I'm bring eventually gonna bring the diamond axe uh, eventually that iron axe is gonna break and which is okay we don't have any oh, I don't have any potions of water breathing I hopefully should not need it I am gonna take a couple of the night visions though just because it gets dark in the ocean when trying to hunt Ah, crap. Um, is it puffer fish that are used for that potion? I can't remember. And I don't even know if I have any puffer fish. Uh, check my food stuff first. Even though they sh shouldn't be in here. No. Okay. Uh, da 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 da. Don't have puffer fish. Nope. No water breathing. So hopefully the respiration enchantment on the helm works. Uh, okay, so 
Got a bed. I should take chests or barrels or something in between. I do have a barrel. I do have a barrel. I'll take the barrel. I was gonna use the barrel for take the golden apples too. I was gonna use the barrel for the villager that we have sort of beside us, uh, but we gave him a chest because if uh, he takes the barrel job, then he'll become a uh, fisherman, I think. Can't remember. Can't remember. Uh, still thinking. I need a boat. I should get myself a boat. We'll do that right now. Uh, to get a boat, pretty easy. All you need is wood. Uh, first thing you need is a wooden shovel. And then use the wooden shovel with some more wood. And you have a boat. We have a boat! And we have a bed, and we're gonna take a couple of wolves. We befriended one just not too long ago. I think we're good. We should take more wood. We're starting to run a little dry. Do we have? Oh, we got plenty. Uh, and then you know what? We'll sleep out the rest of the night. I think we're ready. And if not, well, why did that stop us before? Hello, kitty. And you gave us a feather. Great. Love the feathers. We'll just put it in our feather chest. Everything has its place, including feathers. All right. Enough dilly-dallying. Let's venture off. It's still early in the day, so we don't need to make a pit stop here. We'll just keep on going. We forgot the wolves! Villager, we forgot the wolves. We can't go back again. It's too late. There's nothing to be done. Trident, but we'll. Oh, someone does. Hello, Trident user. Yes, our first Trident. Uh, okay. Uh, what are we getting rid of? What are we getting rid of? Brown wool. Brown wool. We don't need brown wool. Still going along, I apparently uh, took down the coordinates and overshot it by a good day and a half, so now I'm just backtracking. Uh, see myself an Enderman out in the fields. So you know what? Uh, I guess he'll go away. Fair enough. Nope, nope, there he is. Hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. Oh my 
Oh goodness, we're dead now. Uh, but we got a village coming up. Um, there were a couple of points of interest, and I think I did see this on my radar. While still looking for drowned. I found some more drowned, not so much trident wielders yet, but uh, they're about. Uh, so as we uh, make our way back um, towards home, no, not quite all the way towards home, uh, let's check out this village and see what's what. Yeah, and it's ripe with villagers! And nice kitty cat, too. Alright. Well, we may pit stop here. Oh, we have a barrel of nothing. Uh, we may pit stop here for the night and then continue on in the morning. But uh, we'll just quickly check what we need to. As we do with any good village when you first see it. Uh, not really much, much in the way of anything good. And I don't have the space for it either. They also have an iron golem, so that's nice. Hello, you. He wants beet roots. Yep, nice iron golem. If you get enough villagers, they'll start spawning stuff like that. It's quite the nice thriving village here, that's for sure. The one we passed through before wasn't all that bad either. Uh, you know what? Let's start off some... Just because we can pick up the emeralds. We'll get rid of our leather... Leather portion. not have any rotten flesh, unfortunately. I dumped it all. I'd probably be getting a lot too if I was still gathering stuff dropped from um, the drowned. Baby polka dot horse, there you are. And some more sheepies. But the sun is about to set again. So... Another day. Oh. Come on, you're essentially night. Fine. There we go. And there it is the ocean. Finally. Really uh, get some land masses and determine. Uh, well, you know what? Let's. Uh, what are we gonna do? Let's. I don't know how much of a beacon it will be, but it's something. All right. Um, and you know what?
Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, we won't need bones or, well, we'll take some building blocks. Don't want to get rid of all of it. <laughs> we'll lay our bed down, that's for sure. And you know what? Don't need the axes. At least the one. This is just, just in case. And also to sort of get myself some, uh, some stuff ready. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. You know what? We will eventually make this uh, sort of a place of our own, but for now, uh, do, do. And I can still get into that. Fine. Um, what do I want to do? I want to build. Yes, build two, because, you know, I didn't need just the one. Just in case we need them for anything. All right, into the water. Already, see, seeing some drowned. Dolphins are our friends, and if you give them a fish, they'll lead you to somewhere hopefully special. Need to go up for air first, though. Right to where we need to go. All right, just well hidden. So they lead you to these underwater structures. Not that I wanted to get too much into the ocean, ocean stuff yet. But while we're here, uh, they are. Yeah, there it is. They usually have these underwater chests. I'm breaking fishing rod. All right. Uh, let's see. What I would like to do is try and get one or two more tridents, and then see if it will become our main weapon for the dragon fight at hand. Or if our diamond sword will be. Go either way depending on the enchanting luck I have with the dragon. Shouldn't be too bad. Get in the way, dolphins. Conducting very serious business here. Around are exchanging their tridents for their lives or un unlives. And we don't want to deprive them. Wielding tridents at me. Where are you? Uh, 
you. You're the one. You didn't give me what I wanted. Shame on you. You. Their trident. And we also have a merchant with some llamas playing in the ocean. But hey, whatever they want to do, I guess. I guess it's rough being a traveling merchant. Tridents, bring out your tridents. I think this is the first one that we hit, but let's just check to make sure. Hit me. Puffer fish. Sweet pickles. Can you guys give me a trident, please? Oh, that's ground. Everyone has a trident. Erg. Still no trident. want to give me your trident, don't you? Yes, you do! Grab it, grab it. No? Stone axe can go away. Thank you. Oh, another one! Let's see. You do not want to give us your trident. You die without honor. Missed me. All right, so this trip was pretty eventful, more than I would have expected. So we got ourselves five tridents uh, from the drowned in just this area. Didn't have to venture too far to have them respawn and get them all up to snuff. So um, also, attacking them got ourselves up to 24 after spending all those levels so that's good uh, like i said we got ourselves a treasure map but i think we're gonna leave it and we're gonna come back here uh we'll make ourselves sort of like a proper base here uh and then when we get out to venturing out in the oceans we can do that uh plenty of stuff to be had for sure and much more to explore um but fighting all those drowned i also got a ton of rotten flesh I'm wondering if I should just backtrack to that village just so I can trade and then that will be done and then we can make our way home and hopefully get ourselves with uh, with more enchanting. So let's see if we can venture backwards uh, to that village and if we can then we'll be right back. Erg, also have this big ravine in the way so... Um, I'm just going to mark a little bit around the edges just so I don't come sprinting through here thinking that everything's a-okay when it is not. The last thing I want to do is to fall down into that thing. You know, I'm just providing a public service here for sure. As long as I don't go traipsing through the forest, we should be good. That is one big birch tree. Moving on. Hello, Mr. Cleric. I have some rotten flesh for you. Don't tell me you don't want this. Exactly. Huh? Get a 
brought some gold to level them up as well. But there you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright, uh, did some grinding off camera. Wasn't expecting to get to level 33, but um, we did. So it'll just uh, make things easier for us, at least for this first jaunt. Uh, so I did sort of preview what uh, enchantments we can get with the trident and right off the bat loyalty three uh, loyalty gives the trident uh, the trident is sort of like a special weapon it can be wielded like a sword or thrown uh, like a javelin I guess sort of like its own bow and arrow and what loyalty does is if you throw it it will return itself to you so yes we want that and all it gets is loyalty. Okay, nope, that's fine. So, what's the next trident going to give us? And hopefully something good. Unbreaking three. All right, yeah, I want an unbreaking in on it as well. So, let's... Uh, lapis might help. And impaling is what gives it extra damage. I think I have an impaling book, but let's just see what the level three, uh, unbreaking three gives us, if it gives us anything more. Nice, all right, yes. Um, <laughs> makes that sort of uh, loyalty three that we've already gotten on it uh, kind of irrelevant. But you know what, I'm not gonna complain. So we've actually lucked out pretty good. Uh, loyalty, channeling, and unbreaking. Uh, let's see if I have the impaling. I do. Uh, but I don't want Riptide. Um, Riptide is also another... Well, let's take it and hope. And just in case, we'll take the mending, because mending will be the thing that uh, sort of makes this the piece de resistance. So, uh, let's get this one. Let's get our, and let's see what comes over. Come on. Okay, so the impaling comes over, which is what I want, because it'll give it extra damage. Oof. Uh, all right, cost of four, we're doing it. And we broke the anvil, but we knew that might happen. So let's get a new one up. Now, can we get a loyalty better than three? No. So there's no point in merging these, which is fine. So then the question becomes mending. Yes, I think we go this route. And now it becomes our main stabby weapon. And you know what? This poor dude in the gold armor, he has been suffering long enough with just an axe. Guess what, my friend? We're upgrading your display weapon. At no extra cost to you. Perfect. All right. So. Plus eight. Plus 12 is hard to argue with as far as the diamond sword is concerned. Um, I'm not even sure how much more I would want to put onto it other than mending uh, and then encase it in netherite. Ooh, hard, hard choices. You know what? We can take both to the stronghold and <laughs> uh, it's going to be an interesting time, that's for sure. Alright, so I think we succeeded where for our sort of to-do list in this episode. Um, quite happy with the results. We both got ourselves our 
netherite armor, as well as our trident. Trident of power, of unyielding power. Attack the camera. <laughs> Take that camera, man. And it returns. Awesome stuff. So yeah, I think we're going to be ready for what comes next. And what might actually come next is that age-old end fight. Uh, you know, the player against the Ender Dragon. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, a little, still a little antsy about it, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, yeah, looking forward to finally getting somewhere where I've never gotten in this game before. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft ending goodness. Until then, this has been Jin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now, and happy holidays.